The treatment designed to help people with Parkinson's disease has really changed the life of a young Florida boy. And Nicholas Children's Hospital is one of the only pediatric hospitals in the country offering this procedure for kids. CBS News Miami's Lauren Pastrana shows how it took one boy who was unable to move from that to walking and riding his bike again. Tamron Hendon's family goes to great lengths for his health. Driving from Tallahassee to Miami for treatment. So your battery's at 50% off, are you charge it once a week? And putting a device in his chest to stimulate his brain. So I'm only lowering the left side of your brain that controls the right part of your body. On a recent visit to Nicholas Children's Hospital, one of the few pediatric hospitals in the country performing deep brain stimulation, his doctor fine-tuned his settings. It was miraculous. And now he, he swims, he rides a spike, he runs, he could do whatever he did before the onset. But just over a year ago, Tamron's life looked very different. I couldn't hug her. I tried. Tamron says he couldn't even hug his mom. In fact, he could barely move and was in a lot of pain due to severe dystonia, a movement disorder that causes muscles to contract. He couldn't hold himself upright and he would just, his back would bend and he would fall over. And it would be worse um, later in the day. It was extremely scary because we didn't know. We, it, is this a life-threatening condition? His parents sought help from doctors all over the state before meeting Dr. Migvis Mondui here in Miami. He was in a wheelchair and then ultimately continued to progress. And even sitting in a wheelchair became very, very uncomfortable for him. So he was mostly bedridden at that point. After running tests, Dr. Mondui found Tamron's dystonia was the result of a genetic mutation that responds well to deep brain stimulation. This gets implanted typically under the skin in the chest area or perhaps in the abdomen. And then there are cables that are going to be connected to this. Those are the leads. And those are going to be tunneled under the skin uh, through you know, the neck area and then through the skull into the brain. The device delivers electrical impulses that regulate abnormal brain signals like the ones that cause dystonia, Parkinson's disease, or epilepsy. Might be able to still decrease the other side of the brain. See, that will help a little bit with the speech. His parents say it feels like science fiction, but they're so grateful for this new reality. It was a really hard time, but now his cheerful self is back. <laughs> Lauren Pastrana, CBS News, Miami. It is just so great to see him running like that and living life like a normal kid. It can take six months to a year to get the right settings and they can be adjusted through an app. Tamron and his family still drive down for his checkups, but now he's living life like so many kids do, riding his bike, drawing cartoons and playing video games. We are just so happy for him.